for my second tutorial on creating a Joomla template, I'm going to focus a little bit on some basics for CSS and how to um, work with CSS to create a design, a website design, that you will then turn into a Joomla template. So far, this is what I have. I've got a header area, main content area, left column, and a, a footer area here. And let's see here. And let's see here. Um, I'm going to add some stuff to this to start to style it, right? So this is my main HTML page right now, right? I've got, I've now upgraded it. I've got four divs now. Let me see if I can backspace this out so you guys can see it all on the same screen. All right. I've got a header div here. I've got a um, ID content main div and I've got a div ID uh, left. There's my end div and then I've got a div ID footer down here and hopefully you can see most of it. I'm using Komodo edit to do my editing but you can use any editor that you like. Dreamweaver or whatever program that you're using. You could use Notepad for all I care. Um, so anyway, I've got four divs. Div ID header, div ID content main with some sample Latin in here, just some um, lorem ipsum Latin. I've got a div ID equals left for my left column with some sample Latin in here. And then I've got a div ID footer over here. It just says this is my footer, right? If I save this, then we'll take a look at the CSS. Um, there's a link in the head. Before we do that, bef in the head tag here is a link tag that links to my template2.css. Okay, and it's inside a folder called CSS. All right, so let's take a look at the CSS code. Here are the um, four blocks of code that relate to the different div tags. Right? And you can see each one has a different background set. And this is a background color. This is a hexadecimal color here. Um, it's a six character color uh, in hexadecimal format from zero to F. And um, look up hexadecimal color chart on Google and you can get um, some colors to show up. And you'll have the different numbers that you can use. So I'll hit file, save, and then in my browser, I can open up this index.2.html file, which I have done in Firefox already. And if I hit refresh, this is what we get. Okay, the four div tags, each with a different color, and some of them have some sample Latin text in them. Okay, now we'll style this a little bit more. So, and I'm getting a lot of this stuff from a book that I'm using um, on CSS. Like I said, I'm not very good at CSS, so I'm using a book called Flexible Web Design by Zoe Mickley Gillenwater. It's a great book. Um, I read it on a uh, plane trip the other day and um, it's an excellent book on CSS. Uh, really breaks down some of the basics that I was uh, sorely looking for and so I recommend that you get it. That's uh, Flexible Web Design Creating Liquid and Elastic Layouts with CSS by Zoe Mickley Gillenwater. Okay and so now I'm pulling a lot of this stuff, right, stuff I learned just from this book. She, um, or uh, Gillenwater, puts a couple of things here. Another thing she does is uh, a div tag, and in this, um, it's not a div tag, in a div block here of code with uh, just the name div and then um, a curly brace opening and closing, and any kind of styling I, I put in here will apply itself to all of the div areas on your web page, right? So if you put something in here and mark it for uh, div, then it will style all the div tags on your page. And an important thing that's put in there is padding, right? Um, 
and um, of one pixel and then space zero and then a semicolon and we'll file save and we'll see that doesn't and that padding um, allows the uh, backgrounds to touch um, it, it the way that the different divs meet up together it helps them to meet up together better by having that one pixel um, padding I don't quite completely understand that or I'm not prepared to explain it it's in the book check it out um, like I said I'm not great with CSS I'm just learning um, margin zero these are some of the things in this introductory lesson that are in the style sheet that I thought we could put in here font family then you can put in your font family and um, Okay. So I'm just putting this in here. And probably do this later. And then just generic. So basically, what this will do is it'll look for the font Lucida Sans Unicode. And if it doesn't find that, it will look for Lucida Grande. And if it doesn't find that, it'll grab any sans serif font that your system uses right and so now hit file save and then refresh our window um, in the browser and see how that alters um, the uh, content and you can see here that having a margin of zero moved the font over um, move, having a margin of zero moved the text all the way to the to the edge um, padding zero also moved it probably did something some work to the body and then the font family changed the look of um, the page as well so these are this is kind of like an initial um, style for um, CSS just a simple uh, style sheet uh, connected uh, being called by this HTML page and then resulting in this in the browser <laughs>